Yeah, it's your boy Girl up here back with another video and today I'm here. Oh brother man, I got stuff to video guys. Hey <laughs> today we're going to be doing the description video for both of the ultras bro. Like it's been throughout Twitter, YouTube, everyone's doing a poll. Who's the better ultra? Who's the best unit in the game? And you guys already know I'm not by myself. I got the boy Var, the dude hit. 1k not too long ago man this dude came a long way shout out to var so introduce to var for a little bit you know what i'm saying she, yeah, well i mean i'm another youtuber you feel me um uh, i got i got the both ultras at 14 so i'm gonna be giving my perspective on you know that side since you know these bozos don't have at 14 you know they're both saying i mean i don't even have i don't have one of them so uh yeah so that's var var bar right there and then we have the boy it's about to hit 18k subs Going crazy, Virgil, man. You know what I'm saying? What's up? Yo, what is up? What is up, you guys? Uh, I, I got a pretty good perspective, I guess, as well. I, they're both sitting at 13. This boy, very, very. But uh, <laughs> I think I, I think I've used them both enough, you know, since the goat was released to give the, uh, my my opinion. So, quite excited for this video. And yeah, and uh, me, you know what I'm saying, I, you know, I pulled one of them, right? I pulled both, so that's why I needed both of them to uh, hop on this discussion with me. And yeah, links for both of their uh, channels are going to be linked in the description, so make sure you guys subscribe to both of them because they are the homies. So, first, we're going to uh, look down with Gogeta, then we'll go to Kyle and Goku. We're going to go, like, based off, like, stats, then we're going to look at, like, the unique abilities, and then we're going to have, like, our final say-so in their kits. And then you guys can, you know, drop in your comment section, or down in the comment section, which you guys believe which one is the best, you know. It's just opinion-based. No one's right or wrong, you know. They, these both are insane characters. So, if I ever do, let's get with Gogeta. So, let's check out, you know, I think the teams are actually a really big thing to talk about. Uh, Saiyans, Super Saiyans, uh, Fusion Warriors, and then Sagas from the movies, uh, Super Saiyans. How you guys feel about his teams? Uh, let's go with Vara first. Um, I mean, his teams are fantastic. Uh, me, myself, I'm a movie main, so I, this guy was pretty much like a, I, I needed him, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, and the fact that you just put him on as leader on pretty much any team, too, like, that's already kind of nuts. Super Saiyans, he's like, he's cracked. <laughs> Indeed. 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 Dude. Yeah, it's just not nice. So he has really good teams. I can't, like, he has no bad team. Okay, so, Virgil, what you think about his teams or his tags that he can be ran on? Comparatively, uh, as we're comparing, I think his teams, like, if we're, we're comparing teams, uh, Gogeta, you know, has that superiority over the Goku, just team based, like, right now, I believe, just because of how many teams, you know, obviously, you throw him on leader. As far as said, you, you know, throw him on any team, he's going to go crazy on it. Uh, regardless of the typing or the strike or blast oriented, uh, his kid just overwhelming alone. But uh, right now, like team based, I think this Gogeta is just very diverse team wise because this Goku, you know, God Key is in too in, in too hot of a spot. Or like any of these tags, you know, tags that this Goku carries isn't really like top here. Mm -hmm. Definitely runnable and you know usable, absolutely. But uh, this Gogeta has just a lot of teams that are you know top meta one two three teams in the game like gotcha so yeah i definitely think gogeta has the better uh team i did run him on sun fam god key and uss but when you compare gogeta with super saiyans and then movies and then fusion warriors uh you know saying uh <laughs> thank you guys in, in my opinion and you can rock him on sans because his z ability does sans and this guy doesn't both sans so i definitely think the teams uh got it so next we're gonna check out the stats uh for Gogeta and then the Kyle and Goku uh Virgil since I already started over Vara on that part what you guys what you think about the stats because the stats are really they're really similar to each other you know one is uh strike base and one is blast base so so yeah they both cater to whatever typing they are so Gogeta has the higher strike and then Goku has the higher blast but even then they're not too far off from each other mm -hmm. um uh, defenses, they're both around like the same defenses as well. The Goji has the flat defenses, mine at 10 stars, 161 on both. At 14, what are they? 165, 160, or. Oh, I see, I see, it's different. Um, but yeah, they're flat defenses on Gogeta. On the Goku, uh, 
They're about the same. The stats are pretty much the same. It's just uh, one has a little bit higher on whatever uh, typing they are. So um, stat-wise, they're pretty much the same. Like expect the, the Summonable Ultras to be pretty similar in that the brand there's typing. Uh, the the stat is pretty much the same. Yeah, I agree. What you think, Var? Kind of the same opinion of Virgil? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Because like my Gogeta is pretty much at 269 strike, but 260 blast, and then you go over to Goku. And then Goku has 261 strike and then 264 on blast, so it's like, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. Like neck and neck, yeah. Right, so I think, uh, yeah, the stats are really close to each other. You know, one's favorite strike, because they're strike based, one favorite blast, and they're blast based. But um, I think they're kind of equal on the stats, bro, like, <laughs> in, the, in the sense, like, you know, they're both equal oh, defense, yeah. and then one, like I said, one is strike and one is blast. So I think this is kind of even on the stats. Um, hands, but now we're gonna break down the main abilities oh, and it, bro. <laughs> ultra abilities, the unique abilities of these two uh, beasts of a unit. So, we're gonna start off with the main ability. Let's go with Vara. Uh, Vara, you know, what I'm saying we're gonna check out the main abilities. Ultra Gogeta destroys one of your cards, he draws the old card, you know, gains health, key, and damn deflected buffs, and then the Kyle can Goku. It's the card, you know, gets health by 30, 40 key, and nullifies special curve chains for 30 time accounts and cancels own actual downgrades and that existence. So which one you're rocking with? Which one you, you know, talk about both of them? I'm probably more of a fan of Goku's man. Okay. Just because, yeah, cause just because it's giving you, like, <laughs> it's not like, okay, with Gogeta, right? It destroys one of your cards. Right. Yeah, I remember I always, I always hated that because you're like, oh, I hope it doesn't destroy my green card, and then you just pop in and it destroys your green card. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I bet that Goku, you know, you draw like a normal card, uh, and then you gain the no fighting cover changes for 30 counts, which is nuts. Like, yeah. it's like Gogeta doesn't have that, mm -hmm. but he only has that on his green card. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say I'll give it a Goku, personally. What you think, Virgil? What you got? What you got, man? I think uh, you know, the Goku, I think, has the better overall uh, main ability. Okay. Um, your damage inflicted is important for sure, but uh, this Goku has just, you know, damage inflicted all throughout his, his kit, other than his main ability. So, um, health is the same, he gets 10 more key than the Gogeta does. Um, the nullifying cover change is, is huge, especially when you're popping this ultimate, you definitely want to get that combo off, you don't want to worry about getting covered on. Facts. Like, uh, you pop that ultimate. I mean, cancel zone actually downgrades abnormal conditions pretty well, I mean, pretty nice as well, so, um, I think. Yeah, I think Goku takes the cake with uh, main ability. Hmm. So, I guess for me, I'm going to decide with Goku because I'm a little bit biased because I pulled him. But I do like just the nullify spells cover change with 30 time accounts. Like, this is something that the Super Saiyan Blue, Zenkai, Green Vegeta should have had. Where he can just go crazy with the card draw speed and just don't have to worry about none of that. And it's kind of like that when you pop his main. Like, you're not going to, nothing's going to interrupt him unless you have future Gohan or like, um... You know, Red Kale, someone that destroys cards, but other than that, you know, he's not going to get touched at all. So, um, yeah. So, next we're going to go with the um, we are going to go with the what's the name right here, the Ultra ability. Now, the Ultra abilities are really the same with each other because exactly. uh, they're really the same. It's just really more of just which tag they're like based off of, like right here, like USS, and then this one is Fusions Warriors. So. Uh, what do you guys think about this? Uh, I mean, there's really not much to say. I would say maybe the Gogeta might have the better one because they're just a lot more stronger Fusion Warriors than um, than USS. Yeah. But USS, yeah. there's more. They're like more acid. Like uh, like you can get more like the one percent units, regular Sparkings to build that team. So, uh, I think Fusion Warriors are a little bit more expensive. What do you guys think about that? Uh. So uh, I, I do think yeah, they're the exact same ultra ability, so it, it's just depending on which team is more accessible and what team is better at the moment. Mm -hmm. So having the Goku have access to this ultra ability, you pretty much want to have a Moon Leader so that majority of the time. Mm -hmm. You can have access to that 30% on both damage and key recovery. With the Gogeta, you don't need to have them because the ultra you know, ability, you know that second part of it there, you have them on Fusion Warriors, don't have to have him on the leader slot, and he's still gonna have access to pretty much close to um, this right here. Yep. 
yeah, pretty much in every, you know, all the Fusion Warrior, the, the main Fusion Warrior setup. Uh, arguably the best team in the game. Uh, it's definitely more reliable than with the uh, Universe Survival Saga. Alright, so, what you think, Var? I mean, I definitely agree with Virgil. I just think Fusion Warriors is in a better spot. You know, they got G4, who was mm -hmm. like infamous for being like the, the counter of the meta, you know, you feel me? Um, plus, they got like Laju, who has like the annoying green card, he has endurance. And then you just, like right now I'm looking at the tag for USS Duke, bro, and <laughs> they don't, like they have a lot of, they don't really have a lot, honestly. Like one of the better units they have is Evolution, but it's like now that this Goku came out, he just replaces you replace him, you know? and then you gotta get Jiren, you gotta get Beerus, so uh, yeah. you side with the Fusion Warrior on the Ultra ability. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm kind of, I'm definitely a rocket with them too, bro, because for sure, like what you guys just said, I don't pretty much have to explain myself, so let's get on with the unique abilities. Um, crazy unique abilities from the two. We're going to start off with uh, Ultra Gogeta, you know what I'm saying, we're going to start off with, we're just going to look at both, because I, I think it's going to take too long, so... 100 damage afflicted reduces damage by 50 so i feel like uh this gogeta is going to be a lot more tankier than the goku because i don't think the goku has any way of reduced damage besides when he pops his gauge and he only reduced damage by 20 so uh he has a 52 he has a 52 yeah right at the top where right under the damage afflicted that's key recovery oh right there that's the neck Oh my god, I didn't even peep that. Okay, so they both got the 50. Oh my god. <laughs> both got the 50 uh, reduced damage. So here he got permanent corridor speed throughout the match. He doesn't have to come in like Goku, I believe. He get, does he uh, come in? Or like, yeah, 50 yeah. time accounts? Yeah, he so, does. Yeah. Uh, when he draws his, when he charges his unique gauge, uh, every time he uses a card, uh, he does get a blue card, does restore his health by 15, gets key by 40. 20 damage inflicted and it reduces his next damage by 20 so the next damage he's taking is uh, is minus uh, or 70 percent damage uh reduced and then when he's by himself this is what you know this is what makes him ultra gogeta a lot annoying uh is when he's by himself allies he gets another ultimate card he can get two ultimate cards and his ultimate card we can we can check that out later but you guys know like nullifies endurance and all that stuff for 30 time accounts each time and then uh, if he has one defeated battle member, or just have a defeated battle member, nullifies element factor for 10 time accounts, activates twice, inflicts all enemies with no switching for 5 time accounts, and then sort his ally self by 5 when he gets the rush. So say for example, you have Oob, you throw him in, they rush, and then you can just throw an Oob if he has like the right time accounts, you can just throw Oob in, and then he does do extra damage to PO. Then he also has a strike cover change, you can combo with a blue card. Kyle and Goku, 110 damage inflicted, reduces damage by 50, 50 key recovery. Uh, the gauge thing is, uh, my goodness, um, really quick to get, to get his gauge faster than Gogeta's. Green card, he heals, he gets the damage inflicted for a strike and blast, his best move twice when you fill it up twice, reduces damage by 20 as well, just like Gogeta, and then restores the bandage gauge by 100, activates five times. Woo! Second one. When he comes in battle, he gets 30 key, card draw speed for 50 time counts, and he inflicts the enemy with minus one card draw speed for 10 time accounts. Seals enemy strike cards every time he faces with a new enemy for two time accounts. And then every time he evades the enemy, he gets another card draw speed. He can get two card draw speed. Randomly destroys one of the enemy's cards, inflicts enemy downgrades with minus 50 key recovery, and then he also has a strike cover chain. So if you do PV with this guy, whew, double card draw speed. Can't do nothing about it. So, Virgil, what you think? What you thinking about these uh, these old, these unique abilities from these two? So uh, we start off with like the first first set. If you compare like the first set, the first three things they're pretty similar. You know, this Gogeta offering 100, the Goku offering 110. So right. Goku has the you know up on that 10% mm -hmm. damage and more. They both have the reduced damage received by 50%. It's the same thing. Then the Gogeta has the card draw, and then the, the Goku has the key recovery. So, reference size, I think actually the key recovery is actually really good for the Goku. So, it's it's fun that he has that not card draw. Mm -hmm. So, you definitely want to be throwing that gauge up as much as possible to have access to all those buffs. Uh, the card draw speed, obviously, is really great as well. You want to combo as much because the Goku actually needs the combo to obtain his gauge. So, they're both right. having what they need to access the gauge. So. And then, um, comparing their, their gauge uh, buffs, actually. 
Uh, it's it's interesting because they they're both getting health. Uh, they're both getting key right on the lethal gauge. Yeah, he gets key uh, when he pops the green card, though, from Goku. Oh, yeah, when he pops the green, but yeah. not. Okay, so they're both getting health. And damage, damage with the boss and reduce damage. Yep. But this um, Goku is getting extra vantage gauge five times in uh, a green card. And then Gogeta is basically getting a blue card after he does his. So. Yep. Uh, I think it's, it's one of those things that there is just really hard to say mm -hmm. like a better i think they're both just this both of these filled gauge abilities is just cracked you know obviously each each suits their kit you know they go gia pulling the blue card destroying all the enemies cards yeah damage inflicted buff um it's just stupid the, the card draw speed is nuts and then the goku himself is like super techie where he's just able to constantly restore that advantage uh draw cards key damage inflicted stack the ultimate damage like Constant like Goku's filled with buffs. Like his whole case damage is like the buffs. Uh, it's just crazy, bro. Yeah, old card right here. Nullifies uh you know endurance for thirty time counts. He gets this twice. You know, that's insane. Um Yeah. You know, and then the fact that uh yeah, uh, Gogeta's biggest thing uh to me is that second part of his unique ability where it's you get type neutral and you get the lock in. The lock in the enemy doesn't have uh vanish it's just a rush it's a kill right there if you get it through because he's type neutral as well so nine times out of ten you're gonna get a kill off just that you know as long as he's not the first unit to get rushed this ability is so powerful i think that's like the, the standalone for goji the type neutrality and the no switching is just ridiculous like also that, that also that reducing the, the ally sub count by five when he gets yeah, rest exactly. it's really nice right there especially if you have a unit that has a revival or endurance um super clutch really clutch it's hard to time rush this when uh goji is on the field because you don't know when Indeed. you're going to be able to have this ability activate unless you're like it's you're really you're having a mental note of when how many time accounts that others allies he has right so still pretty so he's basically got to rush him as soon as he gets it. yeah like, the other guys have switched out as soon as he jumps in then you got to rush so Indeed. automatically reduce that stuff down. but um i think they're they're both peak bro these uh both of these uniques are peak so i, I think they both um like i know we're comparing them but it, it's it's like this goku has a bit more utility in my opinion a bit more utility a lot more things that he's doing he's got that double card draw speed potential potential he's mm -hmm. uh damage inflicted he's all you know he's getting a lot of similar things to the goji as well as the health right uh uh restores vanish engage that that unique on its own like restores vanish engage it's kid boo on crack correctly bro it, it just could be really ugly for your opponent so uh, I'm, I'm just gonna give the kid you know to go uh to goku okay. i know goji this kid you know uh is great i just i just think the utility is crazy on the goku so all right so varl what you got, man? What you got? What you got? I mean, I gotta... Like, I think Gogeta's technique gets better, mm -hmm. but I do agree with Virgil's uh, statement on the utility for Goku. But I just think Gogeta's just a beat stick. Like, with Goku, you just have to worry about reds, you know? Mm -hmm. Gogeta, yeah. even, if they have a, even if they have a green, like, you don't gotta worry. <laughs> right. says, and then I noticed that Goku's card speed wears off after, like, 15 counts or 10 yep. counts. Yeah, yep. that is true. And Gogeta's is and infinite. Gogeta had, like, ever. But Goku has a chance at double card draw speed at a point. Yeah, but which, it's for like a limited time. It's limited too. time, so he's by himself, last stand. Eventually, he's going to be gone. So unless you just keep, unless you keep vanishing, and that's the only way for you to get it. Yeah, that's so we, true. And then him getting, and then Gogeta getting a blue card. We, like we already know what his blue card does. But yeah. Like just getting that alone is pretty stupid. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Gogeta has an unlimited heal. On like Goku, Goku has like a limit. Yeah, he has a limit. Yeah, seven, very true. Seven times. Very true. Seven times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he just gets that just forever. Yeah, <laughs> forever. <laughs> yeah, so I guess for me, Gogeta, like he, he can just, he has a better chance at like, say for example, you get rushed, one of your allies dies. Gogeta has the ability just to even the, the playing field quickly, right? When he comes back in, he can lock you in. He can do his damage. Pop the old card, and he could be like, "All right, you took one of my units. I took you out. Bam, we're even. You know, let's go." Like, you feel me? With his, uh, with his, with his comeback right here, like this right here is nuts. He could even, he could just 
he would he could just go back to a 2v2 again like quick and then goku his his unique like his his thing is so tech like what virgil was saying bro like i really feel like if you can just it really is one of those things where if you can just understand like when the best time to like if you just really prioritize this gauge thing he's just a better kid boo like kid boo was when he came out kid boo was annoying to hit and if you just get that gauge going and you make sure that every time you vanish you get your vanish back and you fill it up this guy stays on the field just like you know he can just keep staying on the field which is annoying so if i had to pick my goodness they're both they're both so clutch though both are so clutch you know i think i'm gonna side with kyle king goku you know i think one thing i like about him is the whole thing that he seals the strike cards uh for two time accounts i really feel like that's slept on so like say for example he does face you know there's a lot of strike base teams out there i think strike base is more favored than blast base you guys think you know you guys agree like just for all teams um, so a lot of teams are gonna have strike cards and he can buy himself you know two time, like you know just for two two time accounts just to buy him you know some time and if he is locked in with gogeta you know someone that has gogeta he can't instantly do a strike card against them he can't you know he can't do that goku can kind of play aggressive and tackle him and he can't really do much besides sidestep uh i think that's really interesting but i really just feel like this depends on the card you have um you know it can this goku can kind of like finesse his way out of this locking thing but uh gogeta's locking thing is interesting as well i really don't know who to pick bro like i really don't know who to pick i think i'm gonna, I'm gonna have to call yeah. it even i'm gonna call it even i think i, I think the lock-in thing is it's pretty much even yeah like like realistically it's pretty much even it, it becomes a play style preference base at the end of the day really like which unit can you utilize better mm -hmm. uh the, the gogia it's it's more like uh e for everyone kind of guy like he's like you know anyone can use the unit and get lucky gain priority have control of the field lock in rush it's a mm -hmm. easier unit but uh especially if you know how to use the unit goji is that guy better last stand my yeah opinion. Mm -hmm. Then on Goku's side, he has the potential to be greater, but you need to play it better. You gotta play you it better. better, right? So, you know, I guess final conclusion type. We kind of thought, you know, we already know like Gogeta has, you know, strike, you know, blast armor. We already know, kind of, we already kind of touched based on their, uh, you know, their ultimate and stuff. You know, this Goku has a chance of getting a hundred ult if you pop all five of his cards. You can get 100% of his ult, you know what I'm saying? Like, we already kind of talked about the ult cards and everything. So now is just kind of the conclusion. I want to start off with Vara. Uh, the reason why I brought you guys here is because this Goku right now, you can't really compare them because this Goku has the boost, right? So you can't compare him right now because this guy is going to have the advantage. The extra damage inflicted, the extra reduced damage, he's going to be tankier. He's going to hit harder. But you guys sure. both got Gogeta during his prime with the boost and you guys got Kyle Ken Goku with his uh boost like with the PV boost so I'm gonna go with the 14 star man first Vara <laughs> who like which which what you think you know what you what you think um you know you both had them at that prime so let me know that's true all right so like Virgil said I do think it depends on play style mm -hmm, uh, for me personally and I mean, Rook, you know this, but like, I, Broly's my boy. Yeah. And they, he put Blast Armor on him. And I was like, all right, well, Gogeta came out. He had Blast Armor. And that's like kind of my specialty, I guess you could say. So I feel like Gogeta is better for me, uh -huh. personally. Just because I'm more, like, I like playing mid range. I don't like fucking standing back there waiting for like, PV, you know. Um, so yeah, that's just my thing. And then his blue card is just nuts to me. And just having an infinite heals. Uh, infinite blue cards essentially for the entire like it's just nuts man <laughs> yeah this yeah the blue it's, card is ridiculous um uh, one thing we forgot to put about the kaga goku he is he does destroy blue cards with his blast that's one thing yeah, totally that's forgot. but you still side with gogeta even though like you know rocking both of them right, right. now i know it was too early for the kaga goku but you still side with the gogeta yeah because okay. yeah, like i said man it's like with goku i still have to worry about blue boys you know mm -hmm. like they can swap to Gogeta and then they just wreck. Right. Um, with Gogeta, if, if they bring G4, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm chilling. Like, <laughs> you know? Kind of like, we kind of want them to kill one of your units because you can just take, exactly. you can just kill yeah. that green unit and then like that 2v2, they're most likely not going to bring two greens. So, that's true. That is very true. Var is really good at 
the mid-range, I mean, the whole blast armor thing, I really feel like he plays the mid-range really good when I face against him. So I definitely can see why he picks Gogeta because just the blast armor, like, just controls the game. He can control the game with the blast armor. So Virgil, you know, you pulled him too. You know, you didn't get him 14, but you both got, you both, I think you got both of them at 10 evenly. You both, yeah. you were able to play with both at your prime, at their prime with the PP boost. Who you got? Uh, honestly, who I got is uh, Gogeta. Right? Mm. Like if I had to play similar to War, like I, which unit I could play with the best right now, it's definitely Gogeta. Um, I mean, to be fair, like we've had more time to learn him. And the blast armor control is super important too. Yeah. We utilize that a ton. Great. Um, what unit do I think is better though? I think the Goku is better. Overall, I mean, you still have to see him without the boost, but he's already proven like two days, and the fact that you can compare him this far, um, I think, I think the Goku has, is, I think the Goku's better. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's, it's too early, realistically, right? I just think my early take is that he's better. All right. So, so you like using Gogeta, but you think Kyle can Goku's better? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, even you know. You could rock this Gogeta on Super Saiyan, you know, with the crits, you know what I'm saying? You still put in Kyle and Goku. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but they're they're so open. I'm like not too afraid of Super Saiyans. They're just, you know. Gotcha. They're too open, man. They're just, gotcha. uh, they're susceptible to Rise and Rush. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the crits, yeah, the crits are nasty. The crits, you also gotta get luck. So, okay. Okay. I, I read a lot of stuff without the RNG aspect. Hmm. All right, so we got Virgil take, and I guess I'll just finish it off. And then you guys drop your comments, what you guys think, bro. It's all opinion, bro. They're both great units. Uh, me, personally, I like more Blast-based units. I think the Kyle King Goku, one reason why I like them is every unit pretty much has a strike cover change, bro. One of, like, the best units in the game, if you're not counting Gogeta or, like, someone that has, like, IT cover or universe cover, cover chains every unit is more strike based than blast based you could say freezer has blast cover chains a full power freezer but you know i like blast based units i like to play aggressive and when i have a lot of strike cards in my hand i can't initiate so i do like blast based units more and i do like kyle and goku i know it's a little bit more biased but i just feel like i can make more plays with them i like units that is based off you like if you if you can prioritize this and make him scary bro like that's on you that's kind of like based on the individual uh taking advantage of this whole gauge and everything that's kind of why i like ella piccolo because i feel like ella piccolo makes great plays down the line and this goku kind of reminds me of piccolo you know definitely a lot more cracked and everything but just the plays that you can make with the kyle can Goku, i like more uh utilizing in this right here like he's basically got like kid boo is getting his vanish like he does so much so I'm aside with Kyle cool. Ken Goku. Uh, Gogeta, I think I kind of really found a way to really like stop him. Like it's definitely there are times where like I definitely like lose and you know lose against this guy. Um, but they're both are busted. You know, there's times where I thought I had this guy dealt with and he beats me too. So I'm gonna go with the Kyle Ken Goku because blast base uh, is based off you know can you make great plays with him and then he he's definitely gonna reward you more. Then Gogeta. Gogeta, I'm not really the best with the whole blast armor thing, like the whole blast armor uh, cancel that VAR will be doing, like all those people be doing. I'm not really the best at those, so I'm going to go with the Kyle and Goku. So, yeah. Whew. Good bit. Great bit, man. Um, I think this is a really good discussion, bro. Like, it's just based off play types, like you guys said, and I just don't think no one is wrong. If you pick one over the other, I can't disagree with you. Just can't it's disagree. an argument for both to be made. 100%. Like when people were comparing o Go Goku Vegeta and Ultra Gogeta, I feel like there was like seventy percent people was going with Gogeta. But on this debate, I really feel like it's like fifty-five Gogeta and forty-five, like around there. I really feel like it's a lot closer. And um, yeah, so that's our takes. Uh, I appreciate you guys for you know stopping by and doing this uh, discussion with me because you guys both had them at their primes and everything. And uh, yeah, and we both have we have our different star levels too, which is pretty dope. So, links in the description for both of their channels. Go subscribe to the boys. That's it with this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Green Ruff, Vara, and Virgil. And we out. Peace. <laughs>